education is the same, but how, how to utilize it? Well, the simple ones, is, as I mentioned before, is even in basic uh, credentialing and, and recognizing yeah. skills of people yeah. Yeah. and being able to say, okay, you got this degree or you got this um, qualification, mm -hmm. uh, but in that you've got all these subset skills yeah. which maybe are hard to quantify as a degree. Yeah. But then when you go to an employer, they want to know, do you actually have that skill? Like, so sure, not yeah. only do you, yeah. well, otherwise everyone's got that Photoshop degree <laughs> from somebody else and they change the name and they're using someone else's identity, Dr. essentially. Burns, yeah. yeah, well, Dr. <laughs> Burns, here we are, right? Um, so, but when you start looking into even uh, industry sectors and you might talk about mechanics, for example, yeah. well, you have a diesel mechanic that can work on a forklift, but yeah. you have a diesel mechanic that's working mm -hmm. on a, a D9 dozer in the mines, yeah. uh, if that's the thing, I, I just yeah. made it up. I think <laughs> no, it is. I think you're spot on. Yeah. yeah and, and so they might have the skill set of being able to use a spanner yeah. Yeah. Or, a, or a socket set or yeah. whatever. But when you talk about a socket that this round, maybe yeah. they don't, maybe they have to have heavy lifting skills or whatever yeah, yeah, it might yeah, be. Yeah. They have to be a certain yeah. size to pick the, yeah, yeah. the thing yeah. up because <laughs> the nut might be this round, right? Yeah. So yeah. all of a sudden that same skill set doesn't necessarily relate to sure. different areas within the industry. However, sure. you could quantify that and have it as almost like micro credentials, yes. but having that credential written yeah, to the yeah. blockchain so then it transfers across regardless yeah. of where you you learn right. that skill okay. right so and okay. and that's that's more than it becomes a, a more a functional application when you start tying it with industry mm -hmm. and employers mm -hmm. and uh and all sorts of things where they they it's not just about hey this is my qualification mm -hmm. but it's yeah. hey this is my qualification mm -hmm. and everyone can check that yeah, across sure. the industry sure. yeah. and know that i've got those skills and and yeah. now all of a sudden you might be moving from a forklift um mechanic yeah. to a d9 uh, thing and most of your skills transfer but certain sure. ones you need to fill so instead of sure. having to do a whole qual qualification sure. or another apprenticeship you go well, I only need to cover off three topics here. So it mm. takes you three weeks to get up to right. speed versus yep. another yep. 12 sense. months or whatever. So we can save time in that. Yeah. And and that's, you know, then there's also, like, there's millions of applications. The more I think about <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I, I'll yeah, be yeah. here all day. But just, yeah, yeah. just another one, for example, is on the international student market. I know yeah. for sure there's, uh, there's a lot of fraud happening around their application. So they have right. to have a certain amount of money. Yes. Um, yes. And they their criminal histories and have to be clean and all yes. sorts of stuff they they have to sometimes it helps that they have you know they have a certain track record sure. well, a lot of this stuff gets photoshopped right mm. so they there's whole divisions that spend their whole their whole business model around yep. we have to check so. that yeah, this yeah. information is correct because mm. we can't put mm. a fraudulent student across to the university yeah, or sure. to the TAFE or to the yeah. college or yeah. or RTO or whatnot yeah.